Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here and in today's video I wanted to talk about how you can fight against grapplers or how at least you can fight better against them. First of all a grappler is a character who have a command grab and that command grab will lead to either Oki or some sort of a vortex situation. There are many grapplers in Street Fighter V and there are an archetype that gives many people a lot of issues. Now, generally, grapplers are annoying once they get up close. For example, once you got command grabbed by these characters, typically you have to guess. They rely a lot on guessing once you are on the defense. But first, I wanted to talk about a couple of aspects that I believe to be very important when you're fighting against grapplers. The first thing is, obviously, these characters are designed to get close to you and are only really really good at very close proximity. So you kinda have to use the screen. Think of the screen as your resource. The last thing you wanna do is get cornered, right? Grapplers in general are very strong once you have nowhere to run. So like once you are at this range, Mika is very powerful because you have nowhere to run from her. Your back is to the wall, you're gonna jump and you're gonna get anti-aired. And one thing that is really nice about grapplers is that in general they are really ready to anti-air you uh, let's say for example that we are in this matchup like a Ryu versus Mika matchup typically the Mika is gonna walk forward play patient maybe dash maybe jump whatever but she is playing a more reactive game that's why it's gonna be easier for her to anti-air you as soon as she, she use jump right because she is playing a more reactive game it's gonna be a little bit easier for her to anti-air and you'll notice that generally it is very hard to jump on Mika, to jump on Zangief, jump on Abigail, Laura, etc. Right? Typically they really are... they will anti-air you a lot. So when you're fighting against them try not to jump in that much. It is good if you're gonna jump in over them. Most of them don't have good answers to cross-ups but forward jumps will typically get anti-air. Usually the grappler player will be ready. So that is the first tip. The second tip is don't be afraid to go for OK and pressure. And I feel like this is the downfall of most of the players. Let's say for example that you got a combo on Mika, right? Let's say you are gonna get a, do a combo like that. Many of the players will just do that, right? So you're just gonna get your combo and backdash and just start throwing fireballs again. This is awful. In Street Fighter V, there isn't a single grappler who have an invincible reversal. Most of the grapplers in Street Fighter V actually have pretty poor defense. Let's for example say that we are fighting against Mika, right? And we did a combo into medium Tatsu. She's gonna wake up with her 3 frame, right? If my Miti is right, let's dash up into medium, right? You can get a ton of damage on Mika. Now here is the thing. You have to know exactly what are your OK options. Let's say for example we did the same thing again. Mika waked up with her EX Peach which have armor, right? I lose. And why is that? It's because I was only plus 2 on this knockdown. I went for the standing medium bunch. I hit her on the third frame. So her armor kicked in. Zangief, Laura, Mika, almost all of the grapplers have armor. So when you're going to meet them, you have to know exactly what type of meaty you are using to beat their armor. So in this same instant, I'm gonna go for the jab. And as you can see, the jab worked and I got the punish, right? That is pretty much what you wanna do. You might also go for a grab here. A grab would work fine as well because the armor is throwable. So these are the two general tips, use the screen as your resource, try not to jump in on them that much because they are mostly gonna be ready, and don't be afraid to go for the knockdown. Now let's talk about what people really want to hear, and that is, what do I do after I got in command grabbed? Let's use Mika as an example, because there are two sides here. You have to understand what is the risky option and what is the safe option. Let's say for example that Mika command grabbed me, right? I'm just gonna take all of the command grabs. That is the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, number six, 
And number seven is gonna be KO. So Mika have to grab you or she have to command grab you like that was like seven or eight times to actually kill you, right? Mika have to grab you seven or eight times to actually kill you. Now let's repeat the sequence again, right? That was half of Mika's life bar. Take a look at how much a grab did and how much damage a whiffed grab will do to Mika, right? The risk reward is infinitely in your favor, not in the Mika player favor, right? Now let's actually take a look about what happened if you try to backdash, right? I'm gonna backdash. I got hit and take a look, Mika did 155 in this combo. That is more damage than her command grab. Let's say that I did a wake up V shift. The Mika player will read it and now you are eating a ton of damage, right? So let's actually take a look at this. A grab does 140. If I try to escape and the Mika player guessed it, I ate 441. And this can get really bad, let's like let's say that we are in the corner. I just want to show you like the different scenarios to show you like what, what can happen. Let's say I'm gonna wake up with a backdash. And now I ate 326, that again is almost half of my life bar. So obviously once you saw this now you will know that the safest option is to actually take the command grab right she need to throw you seven or eight times while trying to escape the command grab is the high risk play when you're fighting against a character like Mika for example or Laura because they are kind of similar in this regard taking the command grab is the safe option you want to, first of all when you're fighting against a grappler you cannot be super predictable in your defensive habits. You can't always take the command grab or always try to backdash. But generally speaking, take a look at how much life you have and how much you can take. For example, let's say we repeated the same situation again. This is the multiple command grabs. She have to worry about the backdash. She have to worry about the jump, even jump forwards. She have to worry about the EX reversal. And of course, she have to worry about the V-Shift, right? So this tells you that Mika going for the command grab is actually the risky option here. This is what the Mika player is doing. That is their high risk option. If a player is going for the command grab, they are trying to condition you to try to jump because Mika wants you to jump. Mika wants you to try to escape so then she can punish. A character like Mika and Laura for specifically, they want you to try to escape. Because then they get more damage if you try to escape. So looking at this, the, taking the command grab is the safest option. Now my tips here would be, check out how much life you have and how much you can take. When I'm playing against Mika for example, I take most of the command grabs because hey, it is the safest option. Let's say, for example, that the same thing happened, right? Now I get full combo. Let's say she she committed to reading the V-Shift. Now you get a combo. If you look at both of these, the risk and reward against Mika is so much in favor of taking the command grab. And now obviously we're gonna talk about everyone's favorite grappler and that is Zangief. Now generally the same rules as Mika still applies. You first of all wanna make sure that you don't walk yourself into the corner as much as possible. It is actually very hard to jump in on Zangief because they have amazing anti-airs. And finally don't be afraid to go for Oki once you knock him down. Obviously Zangief is a little bit trickier because he's super is a true wake up reversal and it will grab you out of everything but if he doesn't have super just go for the okay now there is something that is kind of annoying about zangief and that is of course his v skill 
A lot of people see Zangi flexing and they go and attack him and obviously he will hit you with this V skill, activate V trigger and that is this. Just a tip guys, if Zangief is flexing like that, just dash him and throw him out of it, right? It's the easiest way, or jump over him as a cross up and you will land the hit. So if you're seeing Zangief flexing too much and it's annoying you, just dash up throw should be fine here. Um, obviously you don't want to do it every time, sometimes you just want to wait, but it is a pretty good answer. You have to mix in dashes as well, right? Because typically they are trying to walk you down they will have the easy time to react to the jumps, but it is typically hard for grapplers to check out dashes. Now, let's check out what happens when Zangief goes for the command grab, because this is the interesting part. Now, when Zangief throws you, it is a lot more critical than Mika, right? Here we can take one, two, three, and obviously the force is gonna be the kill, it's gonna be the stun, and then this. So you had to take around 7 or 8 command grabs to die from Mika, but 4 grabs will kill you if you got grabbed by Zangief. So Zangief kills in 4 command grabs. That is substantially less. Now you that means that you have to make 3 wrong decisions, right? Let's check out what happens if, for example, we try to backdash. Right? And the situation will repeat itself pretty much. So again, this is gonna put us as the same three decisions. Now I made the first one, which was wrong, I tried to backdash. The second one, I sat there and take the command grab. Obviously the third one, if I made the wrong choice, I'm gonna uh, get stunned and that will be the round. So it is a lot harder to make the safest decision against Zangief. But against Zangief, it is more of a guess, admittedly, against Zangief than, say, against Mika. And it is a harder guess to make. But you have to see, like, what is he doing. If, for example, he is thinking that you're gonna backdash. If he's going for the heavy kick here. Right? It will wave over you and you can just, you know, punish him for it. Let's say, for example, that Zangief is gonna... Uh, he is now gonna command grab and he's gonna circle his option. He's gonna go for the headbutt. The idea for the headbutt is uh, he can grab you afterwards and it will catch you if you try to backdash, right? This is pretty nice, but also it is detrimental to the GIF because if he does this, that's a reversal and you get to escape. Let's say, for example, that you did the same thing. This obviously is a danger, so if you are going through stuff like that, try to actually use your tools, don't be afraid to reversal. In situations like this, don't be afraid to reversal, don't be afraid to V-shift, right? And these options will help you. So you have to understand that while it is a guess, it is really a guess, once you got command grabbed, and this is what these characters live for to be honest, they live for making the read. Try to understand what are they looking for and the risks and reward to their options. They are 50-50, yes, absolutely. It's a guess. But it is as much in their favor as it is in yours. As you can see, every option Zangief can use does have some sort of drawback or an issue. And you have to understand that and just don't let it get into your head don't let the grappler player get into your head too much, don't be too predictable, and don't be afraid to rotate your options. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. I will be leaving a link to the Discord server page and the Patreon page in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.